So today's challenge is trying to get this car onto the Harbour Freight scissor lift and I'm having some difficulties. The, um, the problem is the jacking points on the car don't match up in any way to um, to to the lift and the, the, the lift's ability to adjust. And what we have here are these arms swing that seem to give you quite a good range of where you can uh, where you can lift the car. However, the problem being is the traditional jacking points on the on the pinch welds on the rockers um, are too wide for for these to um, for these to reach. Probably need another couple of inches on each of these uh, swing bars to make that happen. Um, so I then started looking at the internal jacking points, and um, it gets uh, gets no easier. I'm afraid. So I ran a tip across from the two maximum points at which uh, which you can uh, you can span across the bottom of the car. And the absolute outside dimension is around 57 inches, um, 145 centimeters, and of course you have to come in from this a little ways for safety. So perhaps um, 53, 55 inches. Uh, just less than uh, 140 centimeters. That's maximum span. So I put the tape down again, and this is really the uh, the longitudinal measurement um, that we can achieve with the bars at maximum span. Um, just over six foot, 175, 176 inches or around 190 centimeters but obviously as you start to move this in this has this piece here has to move back because of the um because of the stop here this has to move back so it's kind of if you see once you get to that point you can't get any further forward without the whole thing having to move back to get this further in to find another jacking point further in board um, and obviously as you start to move this in you lose your overall span that we uh, we just looked at so yeah so what I've done now is I've um, reduced the arc of the arms all the way in uh, this is the um, the point at which you get the longest throw and uh, if we look at the measurement we have here it's um, it's an overall length of um, around 81 inches um, 203 4 centimeters um, however you've lost significant width to make this to make this uh, this happen so now what I've done is uh, I put the tape across the the maximum span when the uh, the arms are extended to achieve the maximum longitudinal value um, so the span here once you've got that longitudinal uh, maximum is down to a little over three feet um, which is uh, just over 90 centimeters um, don't think there's anything this far in board uh, that I can uh, lift on for the car something else that I found a little annoying is when the uh, the ramp is all the way down the way it is the lift is all the way down is obviously I can lift this out um, this is stopped as it should be on the end so it can't travel any further but now it becomes a little bit of a puzzle of trying to get this off um, and this is important because it now becomes the highest point on the lift so if you're trying to drive over it 
it's kind of stuck on there and you can move it around in every direction there's no way that this will come off so it's kind of stuck in there until you lift the ramp um, now if we look at the uh, extension arms you can get a certain arc out of these which moves around in a clean arc but that's only if we're at the rear point of where the arm attaches this is you can see this is bolted on and that's the pivot point for the arm now obviously as, uh, as you've seen elsewhere in this video but once this is at the front any attempt to arc it forward will actually reduce the overall length and you see the pivot point has to start to move back so we don't get a true arc at this point so it's kind of difficult to give you a true measurement for all points on the arc without some uh, advanced mathematics now when it comes to the arc the same is true for the rear arm as we can get the right position a full arc of the arm all the way around to the end stop right there However, if we want to move any further back, we start to lose the true arc. So this does seem pretty flexible. Um, should give me a lot of positions that I can work in. Unfortunately, because it doesn't go to the full width of the car, to the pinch, uh, the pinch welds on the rockers, I have to find somewhere else. And I'm struggling to do that on my 2006 Audi A4. Uh, I've got to try some of the other cars yet. We have a, a couple of vans, a couple of Siennas and a CRV. Um, hopefully they're a little bit easier to get on and I find the, uh, the appropriate jacking points. So here's the problem I'm trying to illustrate with the pinch welds and the maximum width of this lift. Let me get all the way down here. So you can see that's the maximum distance that this will come out there's the pinch weld my fingers right on it um, this is about as centered as I can get so I'm just gonna have a quick run around the other side she's already set up and we'll see that again it's still too narrow just bear with me Here we are again on the other side, and if anything, this is even further in, so I can't hit the pinch welds, so it forces me to look for something in board, and really there's nothing. I have a gas tank there, exhaust, I can swing these back, but they don't find much of anything. This is plastic, could eventually get to the suspension arm, except that now I'm against the end stop, so I would have to move it forward to get it any further back, which doesn't help me at all. Completely stuck. Now looking again at the front, I haven't put the uh, slides on this because uh, we've already established that we can't reach the pinch welds. So what I'm looking at is this jacking point, part of the suspension, rear suspension arm mount here, which is the other recommended spot. I can kind of get to this now. This is right under where it needs to be. What I would need to do is move the car forward to make sure I can get on something with those rear jacking points but if I do that I lose the ability to remain
under there. We're kind of marginal as it is. We could maybe just about get on there, and uh, maybe I should, uh, I should give that a try, and get those uh, rear jacking points, those rear arms. Oh, sorry, a little bit further back to uh, to get on that rear suspension arm. Let's see if that works. So, with a little bit of back and forth, and the help of uh, a few wooden blocks. We have the rear one under the suspension arm, same on the other side, and here are the wooden blocks that are now spanning the gap between the extension arms and the jacking points. The, uh, the piece of wood is not exactly under the jacking point but it is under the rear bolt, that is the direct point of lift here. So the same on this side, as you can see where the arm is, get in there, you can, uh, you can at least get it lined up along the, uh, the arm, you can see we're on the bolt of the forward jacking point, and on the rear, we're on the rear arm, although it is putting a lot of force on that rear point that is not really central so maybe I'll take this back down turn that around see if I can get the force more down the center of that point and we'll give it another go so if you can see I am pretty much out of space the uh, mechanism for the uh, the door the attachment bracket there is actually inside my car so I don't think I'm getting anything else any more high at all on this but we have probably 20 24 inches of lift height unfortunately what I'm gonna to have to do is drop it down a little because the ratchet mechanism the safety mechanism um, relies on that, um, that center beam there locking into position and until we've done that we probably shouldn't be underneath the car so one of the concerns I hear a lot is how stable is this thing is it really gonna um, not fall on me um, I think there's enough safety mechanism to stop it falling straight down at full height is there is there a topple risk and perhaps there is but um, this is kind of halfway up the travel right now and uh, obviously I'm not going to swing on the car too much but you can see I'm not going anywhere really with this it's uh, it's got a pretty good footprint of course it's still in its longest position with the scissor kind of at that angle rather than at that angle but I think we're more worried about the side to side than the uh, longitudinal. And uh, taking a big rest, not to lose my car here, but um, looks good to me.